Hi, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. So far in your sessions, especially the last session, you by now you will have a very good understanding of an income statement, the different ratios in an income statement, and how to analyze an income statement and make really important decisions for a company. Now, the income statement is done. That's it. Now, there is another financial statement that goes hand in hand with an income statement. Almost every time there is a change to an income statement, there is also some other change happening in another, another financial statement. And that statement is the focus of our session today. And that sta statement is called the balance sheet, the balance sheet of accounts. Yeah. To, to help you understand, give you an intuitive feel of a balance sheet, let's go back to our example, this personal expense example. You, you remember back in our first session, I believe, we said it's, it's, a, it's, it's a really good habit to keep your own personal statement of accounts where you write down every month what your salary is and how much you're spending. Now that is what you see here, salary of 1 lakh and you have been spending all this money and you, you know, finally save some, uh, you know, 28,000 rupees there. Now, is that it? So my question is, just this statement, does this give you or somebody else a complete financial picture about yourself? Think about it. Look at the statement. Does this statement give your yourself a complete financial situation about you is that it isn't there anything else in your financial uh, universe that is there other than your revenue and your income yeah not really right there are a few other things now for example okay your salary is a lack you spend all this money this is the amount of money you have left where is that money that is that money is probably getting added to your bank balance somewhere right you have a bank balance and some of that bank balance you regularly invest in the stock market or you buy debt or in a fixed deposit you have all that happening right you and also maybe you you own a house yeah maybe you own a car you own a cell phone uh, you, you maybe you have a loan and you pay a monthly EMI to there you go right you, you have an EMI right here so that means you have a loan maybe 15 20 lakhs to pay back for your house you have those things as well so unless an, an income statement gives only a snapshot of a financial your, your financial situation an income statement along with all those other things we just said what all you own your your your, your cash in your bank account your shares your stock and all those things along with your flat and a car the amount of money you owe somebody else only when you see an income statement along with those other assets or liabilities that you own or owe only then can somebody or you yourself can get the complete financial picture of yourself right so this other statement where we're going to put your cash balance and your house and the loan you owe that is essentially a balance sheet now let's look at if you had to build a basic balance sheet for an individual you what would that look like very simply uh, you have cash in your bank account yes you have cash in your bank account I'm just gonna make this a little bigger so it's uh, easy to read you have cash in your bank account uh, let's say you know you, you've been saving well you have 10 lakhs of cash in your bank account okay uh, it does, does this does the income statement capture this anywhere look at this no there's no 10 lakhs here right so you have cash in your bank account and then apart from that you own stocks worth another 10 lakhs okay does your personal income statement capture this anywhere no right then you have some money in a fixed deposit you know you're a fairly risky guy you want to put only little money in a fixed deposit and more money in shares so you have another five lakhs in a fixed deposit yes now again your income statement does not have any three of these things so you see what a restrictive view of your financial situation your income statement was providing so far now let's let's see uh, what else uh, we also said maybe you uh, you own a flat yeah you own a flat right uh, you, you, you own a flat 
uh, the cost of that flat is maybe, I don't know, let's say 30 lakhs, you own a flat, uh, 30 lakhs, sorry, that's 3 lakhs, 30 lakhs. You maybe own a, you own a car, you own some assets like you own a car, uh, that's another 5 lakhs, yeah. So these are all the things that you own, that you, you know, you own, you own these things. Otherwise, in corporate finance terms, these are called your assets. These are what you own, these are your assets. Now you also owe money, right? You probably owe, let's say, you owe uh, rent, uh, you owe, you know, not rent, you owe your uh, house loan. You took a ho loan for a house, so you owe a house loan, let's say a 20 lakh a house loan you owe. You probably also owe this month's rent, maybe, you know, 20,000 rupees of this month's rent, you probably also owe that money. So all these things that you owe other people, that others others have a claim on your income, you have to give this money back to somebody else. Um, that is essentially, you know, essentially what you owe, or otherwise, in corporate finance lingo, it's called liabilities. Is that clear? Yeah, assets and liabilities. Huh? So now that your Total assets, let's calculate what your total assets are. Your total assets are very simple. They're just sum of all your individual assets put together. There you go, you're a rich guy or you're a rich girl. Your, your, your total assets are 60 lakhs, but not yet. That's not the, you don't own that entire money. You also owe people some money. You remember that? So what are your total liabilities? Your total liabilities is 20 lakhs and 20,000. That's your total, total liabilities. All right. So now, how much are you really worth? What you're really worth is nothing but your total assets, what you own, and subtract from that how much you have to give to other people. That's your total li liabilities. So your net worth, or how much you're actually worth. Is your total assets minus your total liabilities? There you go. Thirty-nine lakhs eighty thousand is your net worth. This is your own simple balance sheet for your personal purposes. This balance sheet, along with this monthly income statement, gives a complete holistic view, almost, of your financial situation. Yeah. Similarly, a company's a company has you know a, a company has a simple income statement like this which uh, we, we looked at a few sessions back just like in your case this income statement does not give the entire snapshot of a company this is just one aspect of a company's financial snapshot a company has its own balance sheet and I'm going to draw this side by side so you know there is not a world of difference between like your balance sheet and a company's balance sheet is only little. I'm going to say here, I'll just say here, I'm going to say this is your personal balance sheet. Okay, and then we're going to say this, we're going to roughly look at what is your, what is a company's balance sheet. All right. Yeah. So hopefully that is intuitive enough to you. Now, similarly, just like how you have cash in your account, a company we're just going to make sure this all looks nice and tidy for you to see, okay? A company also has cash in its bank account. Let's just say the company, it's a, it's a big company, so a company probably has more cash than you do. So a, a company has 50 lakhs in its bank account. A company will not keep all its money in cash in a bank. A company will actually also invest its money into fixed deposits and stocks and things like that. Okay, a company has another fifty lakhs in uh, stocks and another fifty lakhs in fixed deposit. And we then we also saw this was called assets. Now when it comes to since we are getting technical and into this, the kind of assets that are liquid in nature, when I say liquid in nature is either you have the cash already in the bank account 
or you could just sell the stocks or just break your fixed deposit and get your cash immediately. Such assets are called sorry current assets. Such assets are called current assets. These are the current assets of a company. Okay, uh, and current assets are nothing but assets that are liquid in nature, either cash or cash equivalents like stocks or fixed deposit that can be sold immediately. Now apart from these assets, a company also has other assets. Let's say uh, they have machinery, like in case of Domino's Pizza, they have uh, you know ovens and baking trays and all of that. Let's say they have you know uh, machinery worth 30, 30, 45 lakhs that's 45 lakhs yes then they have some inventory what is inventory we saw in our uh, previous example inventory is essentially uh, dominoes or any company has got you know cheese and olive oil and vegetables and all that in stock in some go down somewhere so that they can be prepared for the next week's demand that's that's inventory that's something the company owns it's its own asset maybe they have inventory worth 10 lakhs okay uh, so you get the sense uh, and this kind of assets now these are not liquid assets if you want cash from these assets immediately it's going to be very difficult to sell your machinery or your inventory immediately and guess, get cash it's going to take a longer time so that kind of those kinds of assets are typically called non-current assets so you see current assets and non-current assets are the two kinds of assets in a company I just align this trade so you know. Okay, non-current assets, and uh, and obviously there are you know more detailed uh, versions of this. But for the purpose of this session, we'll stick to this level of simplicity. So this company's total assets is nothing but the sum of its non-current assets and its current assets. All right. Okay. Now. A company also has liabilities and we saw in Domino's case they have a loan on which they pay interest so Domino's has so this company has a loan maybe let's say the loan is 25 lakh a 25 lakh loan by this company then let's say the company owes taxes to the government you know um, it is uh, the company pays taxes once every once a year or twice a year but it's the middle of that uh, period and the company still has not paid taxes but they, they have to make you know reserves or ac accumulate those taxes so the company owes the government let's say 10 lakhs in taxes yeah now here we are beginning to see liabilities these these are what popularly popularly are called not popularly they're only called liabilities okay and even within liabilities you have the concept of current liabilities and non-current uh, liabilities and and the difference for that is now for example and then how do you decide what is a current liability and what's a non-current liability is that uh, for example you take this loan for example even though your entire loan amount is 25 lakhs you probably don't owe the entire 25 lakhs this quarter or this year right it's it's a 10 year loan you probably owe only like maybe 1 lakh in this in this quarter so that is so what is a current liability is what part of this loan do you owe this period that is a current liability uh, maybe you owe a current liability okay let's just say that and just let's just say loan and maybe you owe only one lakh this financial period and that's your current liability sorry I put 10 lakhs so one lakh that's your current liability and th this is what is called as a non-current liability. You, you, owe, you owe this only much later and not uh, uh, immediately. Yeah. So let's just tabulate what your total liabilities are. Very simple. It is the sum of your current and your non-current liabilities. Now, similarly, your if your um, if for 
then you, you, your company, your com the small company has assets, it has liabilities. So what is the company finally worth? It's not very different from how we calculated what you're worth. What this company is, excuse me while I just format this. So this company, that is the net worth of its, this company, is nothing but its total assets minus its total liabilities. 1 lakh 63, uh, sorry, 1.6 crores. Yeah, the total assets here totally it's 2 crores, all those things put together. Liabilities are about 36 lakhs. So 2 crores and 5 lakhs minus 36 lakhs is 1 crore and 69 lakhs. That is the total uh, net worth of this company. This is otherwise also called shareholders equity and the reason it's called shareholders equity is because um, that is the that is what the shareholders own in a company after the assets are netted to the liabilities it's also called shareholders liability uh, one other thing uh, you should know here is uh, you remember how an in an income statement we said an income statement is always for a period of time it's for a month in this case October 2001 or it's for a year or for a day a balance sheet is never for a period of time a balance sheet is the status of company on a specific date on one a specific date now, for example this company's balance sheet is going to be as of October 30th 2011 what that essentially means is for this company as of October 30 2011 it had 50 lakhs of cash in the bank 50 lakhs in stocks 50 lakhs of fixed deposits 2 crores in assets 36 crore, 36 lakhs in liabilities and 1.69 crores in net worth or shareholders equity and it is as of a specific date you know you, you can't show a cash balance over a period of a month then you have to have different columns but, but a balance sheet is always for the status of a company on a specific date of a year and that's that's a balance sheet so there you go that's a balance sheet so in summary a balance sheet has to accompany an income statement to provide a holistic view of a company's financial status there is one other statement called the cash flow statement which kind of connects the balance sheet and income statement which is probably the topic of you know the two sessions from now but this is the balance sheet so you know what it is all about what are the components of a balance sheet and how to build a basic balance sheet for any business uh, in, in our next session we're going to take each of these components the current assets non-current assets liabilities non-current liabilities we are going to look at a, a real balance sheet of Domino's Pizza right here and try to understand uh, how it is different from uh, what we just uh, laid out here in a simple balance sheet. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon at the next session.
think about it look at the statement does this statement give your yourself a complete financial situation about you is that it isn't there anything else in your financial uh, universe that is there other than your revenue and your income yeah not really right there are a few other things now for example okay, and how to analyze income statement and make really important decisions for a company now the income statement is done that's it now there is another financial statement that goes hand in hand with an income statement almost every time there is a change to an income statement there is also some other change happening in another another financial statement and that statement is the funds where you write down every month what your salary is and how much you're spending now that is what you see here salary of one lakh and you've been spending all this money and you you know finally save some uh, you know 28,000 rupees there now is that it so my question is just this statement does this give you or somebody else a complete financial picture about yourself hi welcome back hope you're doing well so far in your sessions especially the last session you by now you will have a very good understanding of an income statement the different ratios in an income statement focus of our session today and that stage statement is called the balance sheet the balance sheet of accounts yeah to to help you understand give you an intuitive feel of a balance sheet let's go back to our example this personal expense example you, you remember back in our first session I believe we said it's, it's, a, it's a really good habit to keep your own personal statement of account